A little drop of water the same makes an ocean. But the ripples caused by a drop in an ocean stretches far beyond the spots. This is the best way to describe the giant strides of the members of Lakeview Estate Phase 2 Community Development Association. Bounded on both sides by water, there is no need to look further for the origin of its name. I've been here now for the past uh, 11 years and uh, we inherited this uh, road on third. There is no gate like this as we came, there is no security, every place was porous the time we came here and uh, we started by checkmating the process of uh, the area. When the residents began to settle on this part of Lagos State over a decade ago, it was a tale of sorrow, tears and blood. Bad roads, dangerous reptiles in murky waters, massive flood and heavy fumes of generators. To confront their challenges, they came together and formed a community development association. It was, um, we were the ones that suffered it anyway. It was, um, let me say, valley, you know, the way we come, we come there. It's just, um, I don't know the word to use anyway, but it was just bad, very bad. It was swampy and muddy, you understand? Even with leg, you, you find it difficult to move with leg, not to talk of when you use your car. Do you get? So we, we, we spend a lot in our car, even our health, because it's not quite conducive. My physical presence in the estate is about uh, four to five years. It was, more, it was more or less like a jungle. It was not good at all. If not for those of them that are now executive that are able to meet up challenges and put one or two things together at that time, people like us will not come in. I must confess to you. We will not come in. But because some of these guys came and do one or two things, now encourage us to come. From 100 to 200, the population started growing gradually. So, the need to pay attention to facilities management increased. Door to door, house to house, executive members of the Community Development Association mobilized for fund to save the waterbound estate from caving in. Down there, some people cannot carry no matter the amount of uh, vehicle to enter their houses. Sometimes two years ago, uh, about two young men like that, one was drawn in the water, rainy water. Then uh, uh, the other two uh, we are rescued. Then we have to join hands again and start doing some uh, 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 covert to throw water into the canal because canal is this side and canal is in the other side. Some people are still adamant that they will never contribute to this thing. But what we are trying to do is to guide life. Because if we lose an individual, either as a landlord or a tenant or anybody in the estate, nobody will feel happy. Just like security. Today, Lakeview Estate is proud of its self-help achievements. There are 17 culverts built to link major streets, high fences to protect the community from the rampaging flood. Electrification projects keep every home lit and streets are illuminated at night. It's a good thing to emulate right. We go out, we see good things. And when you see them, you wish you can enjoy them. So invariably, that's one of the motivating factors. To live the life you dream of. Not be in a place and uh, at the end of the day, you're suffering beyond your own imagination. So. Uh, I think um, the essence of uh, living well is the motivating factor. If you have a, a heart for good things, you understand. When you see one doing it, you want to be associated with it, you understand. So we want a conducive environment, both for business, for health, and a lot of, a lot of things, you understand. People will come, easy access. You go in and come out without uh, difficulty. If I have more, I will do more because some of these people, 
they, they, they even contributed more than tenfold than what we contributed. So if I have more, I even do. So I'm happy that I'm in, the, in their mix. And then uh, if you look at everywhere now, all the, this, this area is being covered by water. And then uh, at least if there's a police post, they will have a speedboat that I think they'll be moving around the estate. But so far so good, we don't have any issue of uh, any kidnapping or, or theft from the waterfront. But at the same time, we should be security conscious. Government can come in in that aspect. The CDA was inspired by the leadership provided by Governor Akimu Mihambode, who encouraged them to partner with this administration. When the work was, you know, progressing, the local government encouraged us by visiting. The state government encouraged us by visiting. You know, at the end of it, by last year, they came and assessed all that we have done. And uh, at the end, they said that uh, we are the first in Amuadofi in terms of uh, community development and the fourth in Lagos uh, State. So it boosted the morale of uh, the CDA to continue on whatever they are doing. You know, it depends a lot what government will do in the way I doing it. It depends. But on the other hand, we thank government for what they have done to listen to us. Because if they don't listen to us, they cannot do it without, the, without, the, without, the, without, the, without the approval. So the thing we can do to people to enjoy their life tells a lot in any human being. Despite this, the room for more projects are still hoping as Lakeview Estates Phase 2 CDA wants philanthropists and most especially corporate organizations to partner with it. We're all philanthropists and if there is any favor coming from outside the estate, my brother, this is a very welcomed one. If you have anybody, tell us, we'll gladly write this individual and we'll sing him praises and uh, we'll appreciate him beyond his uh, imagination. The government of Ambody can come, we, it, will, it will be well appreciated. It will be well appreciated. Provision of street light is still there to be done. Uh, completion of the roads is still there to be done. Police post is still there to be done. Security network is still to be done. So there are, there are a few other things that government can still do. Whoever we know that I can do the work to us or to can assist us, we want to be fine here more than what it is now. We want, we want to get every corner of this place. If we, if we get a partner who can do that, we we'll love that. We, we want that government to assist the estate people. Do the remaining thing for them. Let them happy, let them, them happy, and we too, we are happy. That's what I want from the government, sir. When I came, I saw most children not going to school. The government schools, they are very, very far from us. So those who had the opportunity to go, they suffered a lot. This made me to call people and then we came together to decide what to do and we started this one. Every day, men and women passionate about creating a better life for the communities are waking residents from sleep. They are building schools to make their children read, clinics to make their families healthy and setting up vigilante groups to protect our properties. Governor Akewumi Ambode seeks the hand of fellowship of these great champions of progress whose mother's self-help efforts show the energy of our vibrant states. Welcome to your homes. Welcome to Lagos Community Update, the television program that's watched communities in action, showing on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7.30 p.m. on LTV. Lagos Community Updates, telling the story of your community.